Dinosaurs and dinosaur fossils. Who has really seen a legitimate fossil? Who's paid to find these fossils? What happens to the fossils? And why do so many so-called awake people, supposedly awake people, get so triggered when people come along and say, yeah, but I don't really, I'm not so sure about all these dinosaurs. I mean, is it possible some of them are fake? Why do so many people who are otherwise uh, awake or open-minded get so offended by anyone who dares to question? Those are the topics we're going to be talking about in this video, and it's pretty rare these days that I upload a, a longer format YouTube video, but today I thought I'd make an exception, make sure this is uh, available to anybody who wants to use YouTube and not go to my site, which by the way, on my site, there's lots of free videos there as well, but you'll never get the same traffic on your own website as you will on a YouTube channel, because this is where this is where the traffic is, so I'm going to leave this whole video here on, uh, on YouTube for you to enjoy. And basically, what uh, led me to make this video was, I was talking about dinosaurs on Reddit. And I was just pointing out that there's some question marks over the field of paleontology. And a whole bunch of people came and downvoted me and said nasty things about me, blah, 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 the usual stuff. That's okay. That's just how it is. But someone was rather pleasant. They're like, actually, I literally dig fossils in Montana. We have two femurs that are larger than elephant femurs in our living room, plus hundreds of other bones. They're real. And so I replied... Do you ever upload these photos or videos of these items? Because I'd be interested to see what it is that you are digging up. And to my surprise, somebody replied. They said, okay, here you go, buddy. You want to see more? Just ask. And they left a link to their image art photo album. So to this person, uh, who's what they call themselves, dinosaur fossils, to this person, let me say a sincere thank you. Thank you for taking the time to upload these. I do appreciate it. Because this is very useful for anybody who's interested in this topic. So this is one of the images, guys. Let's zoom in, shall we? Can we zoom in? There we go. And I'll put a link to this in the info box below so you can go and check this out for yourself. But you get the idea. So this is what I imagine is meant to be a leg bone or something in the, in the ground. Okay. Now we've got another fossil. So for a lot of you who've never seen the, uh, the holotype specimens or what are meant to be the original dinosaur bones, you might not realize just how wood-like a lot of these uh, pieces look to the naked eye. You're probably imagining... What you saw when you went to a museum or what you see when you watch TV or whatever, you might not realize that in real life, the fossils that are supposed to be dinosaur bones, dinosaur leg bones and these kinds of things, they look like this, okay? This is how they look. Try and zoom in. I do encourage you to go and check this out in the info box below. Go to this person's um, image album, which they have politely taken the time to upload for us. Take a look at this. And what I would encourage you to do is to ask yourself, had you never been raised to believe that there were ancient extinct monsters and then someone showed you this and said this is a 70 million year old bone, now a fossil, okay, so kind of like a rock, but uh, effectively it used to be the leg bone of a giant creature from 70 million years ago. If you hadn't been raised from a young age to believe that and then you saw this, what do you think your response might have been? That's, that's really where I'm going with this insofar as this album is concerned. Take a look at this. Uh, I'm not sure what this one's meant to be. But again, you can see the same issue here. That if you didn't know better, you'd think this was just a piece of petrified wood or something. Okay? If you didn't know better. Now, of course, we do know better. We've got the experts to tell us, oh, no, trust us, guys. This is 100% this is um, ancient extinct monster bone of some, of some kind, right? Fossilized bone of some kind. So we've got the experts now to tell us what we're looking at. But if we were just looking at them with our own eyes, using our own intuition, our own memories of what things look like. I don't think we'd, we'd decide that this is a, a bone from a 70 million year old creature. I think we'd think, actually this just looks like wood. Just like an old piece of wood. Maybe been sitting in the ground for a while, so it's maybe gotten heavier or changed in, uh, in properties to some degree, but I mean, effectively it just looks like a big chunk of wood, doesn't it? If you didn't know about it. Now again, we do know better because we've got the experts, okay? And they've got things like this, okay? There you go, I mean, it's... I mean, just look at it. Got this as well. This one looks a lot less like wood and more like stone. It's more of a stone looking thing, for sure. And then another, I'm not sure if that's meant to be like a claw or a tooth, but it certainly does have those uh, serrated edges. So do go and check out this, um, this uh, image album. I do encourage you to do that and uh, make up your own mind. And look at this, 50 comments. So this person, Fossils, clearly has a very popular um, imager account because look at this. They've put for the guy on Reddit who doesn't believe in dinosaurs, and they've got 50 replies. And the replies, I mean, one of them seems to be claiming or inferring or implying that I am religious. You know, oh, the devil put the, the dinosaur bones there to test your faith. 
Actually, I believe the, the Bible is no more than 200 years old. And what's funny about that is I have so-called atheists arguing with me about that. No, it's thousands of years old. How do you know it's only 200 years old? I'm like, how do you know it's 2,000 years old? Have you taken the time to trace the sources? Because I have. I have. And I can't find any sources more than a couple hundred years old for the Bible. I can't. I've, I've looked. I can't find any. So what's amazing to me is the very same people who will say, oh, what? You don't believe in dinosaurs. You must be a biblical or a Christian. And then I'm like, no, I don't even think the Bible's more than 200 years old. I think it's a hoax. They're like, no, it's not. It's thousands of years old, right? Can you see the... Oh, it's just... It, this world that we live in is just uh, something something crazy. Now, here's the main reason why I'm, I'm very happy that this person has taken the time to uh, upload these, these images. I actually went into the middle of Australia to investigate this uh, dinosaur thing myself a few years ago. And I wanted to see the holotype specimens, that is the original find, the original dinosaurs, not the plaster casts, not the recreations, not the fabrications, not the artificial filler inners, no. I want to see the actual stuff. And many people cannot do that because they don't have access to that kind of, um, to those kinds of museums or that kind of uh, lab or whatever. But there's a place in Australia where they will let you, if you pay the money and, and drive, it takes days to get there, it's in the middle of the outback. It was like three days to get there. But it was fun, it was a lot of fun, I had a great fun on that trip. Anyway, the point of my story is we went and saw it. And so I've got videos on my website, dinoskeptic.com. That's dinoskeptic.com. These videos are available for free, several of them, where I show you what is meant to be the fossils. And as you can see here, let's zoom in on this. I won't play the video. You can go and check it out for yourself. But like I said, it's available for free. Link in the info box below. This is what the, the dinosaur bone looks like. And when I saw this for myself in real life, I'm like, what? That's meant to be a dinosaur bone? They're like, yep. I'm like, what? I didn't tell them how suspicious I was about the whole thing, obviously. But what gets me is that this uh, individual it looks, I mean, it's kind of similar, isn't it? Like, kind of looks like wood, doesn't it? Yeah, the fossils, this, this is what's meant to be convincing. Now, when you see what happens when they assemble all of these so-called fossils, and you think about it critically, you're like, hold on, how, how, how does this work? Because people have it in their, in their head that they find the bones like as a dinosaur in the ground. But if you read the scientific papers, that's, if, you, if you look into the science for yourself, that's not the case. It's not like they find this leg and then they dig up here and they find another bit and then they find the hip and no. They will find one piece like this and then a few meters away, they'll find another piece and then maybe a few dozen meters somewhere else, they'll find another piece. Then they put them all together themselves. And then according to their own scientific papers, they don't have the complete specimen. They don't have the, the, the whole sample, all right? So they start filling in parts. It's all hypothetical and they admit this, okay? It's not a secret to them. But to the lemming masses, it is a secret because they all just imagine, oh, wow, they found one bit and then they're going to find the other bit here and then that's how they know what they look like. No, that's not their story. Now, I didn't know any of that until I went and did the research for myself and that led to this piece. I'll link to this in the info box below as well. This is also available for free. This is me explaining the dinosaurs of Queensland because I went and read the scientific papers, okay? Downloaded all the papers I needed, read through them, took notes. I looked into what the claims were being made, okay? And these are the sort of dinosaurs that supposedly you can find when you go out to the middle of the Australian Outback and you find the, the so-called dinosaurs. I've got a page on the website where I talk about all of this. Like, what is the actual science? Who is behind this? How much money are they making from what they're doing? Because here's what a lot of people don't realize as well. Dinosaurs are an industry, okay? People pay money to learn paleontology. They go into debt to learn paleontology, right? People run these digs where, oh, come with us, we'll... We'll take you, we'll go find some dinosaur bones, right? They make money doing that, it's their job. I don't begrudge on that, by the way. Like, do, you know, if, if you're happy and your customer's happy, it, it's not my business. But the point I'm making is, this is a business, this is an industry. And who is making the money, how are they making the money? That's what I looked into back in the day. Okay, so I'll link to this in the info box below as well. And of course, I did my research, that led to me going out and seeing the bones and seeing, you know, the bones, the fossils and seeing stuff just like this. So this, for me, this is good. I'm like, I want people to go and see this with their own eyes. If they come back to me after seeing this and they're like, JLB, I believe that's a real bone from a real monster from 70 million years ago. I'm like, that's fine, that's cool. That's you believe whatever makes you happy. But I think if more and more people do look into this for themselves and find out what this actually is and how they assemble them and how they hypothesize these creatures, there's gonna be a few people who'll come back and they'll be like, actually JLB, now I kind of get why you're asking questions. I'm like, that's all I'm doing too. Just asking questions. So why are the people on Reddit conspiracy getting so triggered? Well, I'll tell you why. Here's why. Because they grew up, just like I did, watching The Land Before Time, okay? And getting emotionally invested in Littlefoot and uh, Sarah. She was a bit of a, she was a bit annoying sometimes, wasn't she? But she was still lovable. Petrie, super lovable. Yeah, Ducky. Yup, yup, yup. Super duper lovable, yeah? And Spike, you know, who doesn't like the big dopey Spike? Just very lovable characters. 
you know, poor um, Littlefoot lost his mum at the beginning of the movie. As little kids, little emotional, empathic kids, man, we can't help but get upset. I used to cry when I used to watch The Land Before Time. My mum wouldn't let me watch it sometimes. She'd be like, no, you just cry again. And I'd be like, no, I won't. Then she'd put it on, and then we, we, within five minutes, I'm like, ah. <laughs> Every time, man, because, uh, you know, and so you get emotionally invested. So I was like a little kid. I was like, I don't know, four or something, four or five. And so you get emotionally invested in the, in the creatures. And then a few years later, what comes out? Jurassic Park. Oh, man, super duper uh, action thriller blockbuster smash hit from Steven Spielberg circa 1993. Around about the same time that Sue the T-Rex was discovered, by the way, but we don't even have time to get into that today. Just a coincidence, of course, yeah, that they discover Sue around about the same time that they're re releasing this blockbuster smash hit. Yeah, give me a break. So anyway, so you're a little kid, you're watching The Lemonful Time, you get a few years older, now you're watching Jurassic Park. This stuff is now in your mind, you believe it completely, okay? 30, 40 frames a second, what is it? 60 frames a second these days? I don't even know anymore. But we're talking dozens and dozens of images every second being pumped into your little brain, okay? Dolby surround sounds, or if you're watching it at home, you've got the TV at home watching that. And this just gets pumped into your brain. So people, people become very emotionally invested in the dinosaur. So even when they're on Reddit conspiracy, let's see, you know, someone like me comes along and says, hey guys, you know how the government lies about things? You know how the establishment lies about things? You know how so-called science is now claiming that a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man? And like, let's not even get into that. You know how science isn't quite what you thought it was and, and the government and the TV can lie to you? That's why you're on Reddit conspiracy. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe we're being deceived about the dinosaurs? Why are these people getting so upset? Well, I've just explained to you why, because people are emotionally invested in the ancient extinct monsters. They're emotionally invested. What a lot of them don't know is that the Bone Wars, okay, this uh, great dinosaur rush, involved a couple of dudes lying, fabricating, and cheating, and uh, just, just really being a couple of bad dudes, you know what I mean? In fact, it says here that each of the two paleontologists use underhanded methods to try to outdo the other in the field, resorting to bribery, theft, and the destruction of bones. Anyway, if you want to read this page for yourself, I'll link this in the info box below. But the thing is, the point I'm trying to make to you is, according to the official story, paleontology begins with crooks. It begins with crooks. The industry as we know today begins with two crooks. That's the official story. That's not even my story, that's their story. But somehow, it went from crooks to now what? They're, every single paleontologist is now trustworthy, like some kind of saint, like they wouldn't lie. Well, guess what? It's admitted that they do lie. This is an article from five years ago from Cosmos, the great dinosaur fossil hoax. Quote, the problem of faked fossils in China is serious and growing. Rather than being excavated by paleontologists on fossil digs, most of the region's fossils are pulled from the ground by desperately poor farmers and then sold on to dealers and museums. Well, hold on, how could the museums fall for hoaxes? How could museums fall for hoaxes? How could experts fall for hoaxes? as well? Please do go and check the links, go and check out these images. They've been posted by fossils, and again, I do appreciate them for taking the time. And I hope you just look into this yourselves, guys. I know it's easy to say, oh, Job is crazy, he says everything's a hoax, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I say lots of things are hoaxes, that's true. But in almost every instance, I used to believe in it. Okay, I went to school, I went to high school, I got a scholarship to university, I finished university. I've got decent marks, not great marks, I was a bit of a lazy student, but uh, I got to university on a scholarship because my high school marks are so good, I finished that degree, okay, I have an, a tertiary education uh, qualification, okay, I've, I did my time in academia. Boy, did I do my time in academia. <laughs> and I used to believe all of it. And, and then, so yeah, the last few years of discovering that, that I'd been completely fooled, that I'd been uh, inculcated into a religion. Like I thought the loony bin, I thought the Christians were the religious people and we were the smart people. No, it turns out we're just as religious as they are, right? And now I'm saying I don't believe in the Bible or dinosaurs. Now I've got both groups of people attacking me. Right, because they, they all want to convert you to their belief system. And I'm like, you know what? If you're happy believing in dinosaurs, then I've got a better idea. Don't check the links in the info box below. If you're happy believing in the dinosaurs, don't check the links in the info box below. Don't go and check these images. Don't go and check my website, dinoskeptic.com. Ton of free videos showing you. That, that's me on the screen. That's me showing you what I found when I went to these museums. It'll blow you away. What I found shook me to the depths of my miserable soul. Goodness gracious. And I documented it. Okay, and these videos are available for free. If you are happy believing dinosaurs, don't go and check dinoskeptic.com. Don't go and check this page, Dinosaurs of Queensland, that I wrote myself several years ago. Don't go and do it. Don't go and check out the Bone Wars. Don't go and check out the great dinosaur fossil hoax from China. Don't do it. Just stay happy where you are, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to convert you to skepticism. 
if you're happy in belief and faith in the experts, okay, if it allows you to enjoy uh, Ducky and Littlefoot and uh, Jeff Goldblum and just do what makes you happy, man. That's really the, the main message I would leave. Do what makes you happy. And uh, thanks once again to this individual, Dinosaur Fossils. Much appreciated. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm being sincere. Like, Thank you for taking the time to upload uh, those images. Uh, for those who do want to check the links, the links are all in the info box below. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a lovely day.